Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Minecraft. It's your boy, Weasel. And, oops, sorry, didn't mean to clip into my feet. Uh, we're back on our bridge that we built in the last episode. And uh, today, I would like to work on the path towards um, the railway. As you can see, I put some torches down here and there. This is going to be one of those episodes where, where I dig around a lot and um, uh, just prepare this for the path, so we're not gonna do anything crazy, and I hope that's okay. That's just, you know, it's Minecraft. That being said, I think it's time uh, we take down some trees, but yes, as you can see, I put torches along the path that I intend to um, straighten out so we can use it as a horse path? I don't know what you would call this, riding path? Something along those lines. So the first step of this is going to be to get rid of all the trees that are in the way. Um, that would be a good start, I think. Um, once we are rid of the trees, we can then think about putting... Uh, we can put dirt back down again just to, you know, smooth it out and allow for um, an easy path. This is wide enough. Very good. Now these ones will have to go... Um, I guess all of them, yeah. It's going to make a little bit of room for the woods here. Okay, this one also goes away. Excuse me. I'm looking forward to upgrading my uh, pickaxe. On that note, things need to be louder. I always keep forgetting to change things around. Because uh, I have different settings for when I record and when I play. And I should probably look into uh, unifying this. If that makes sense. Okay, come on. Don't be like that, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, yeah. I was thinking of going more over to this way, so this one also goes. So I had multiple thoughts about how to create this path to the railway. Um, and, you know, to the railway is just the first step of uh, a longer process. But around it, I could use some... Um, just wooden fences as kind of like a rail, you know, as you would see in um, other hiking paths where, you know, some people put some uh, fencing around just so people don't fall off or uh, something like that. Or we could just um, plant flowers around it just to give it a really cool look or a combination of the two. Um, I would really like that. I don't know what it is about the idea of like terraforming something a little bit. It's just, I think that's one of the things that I like the most about Minecraft. It's its a little bit tricky to reconcile with the wish to create something super entertaining. And uh, my desire to play the game how I like to play it. It's just, you know, how it is. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, I, uh, today I did release... Um, or I don't know if you could call it release, but I set the game that I've been working on for the last, uh, I guess, two years for free on Itch.io. It's it's called Coffee Shop, um, and it's just like a, a coffee shop simulator, I guess you could call it that. It's like a mix between cof uh, uh, shopkeep and um, running a coffee shop, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It is nowhere near done. I put a lot of work into it. Um, I've been working on off on it, and I did intend to, you know, really dig my heels into that and keep working on it, but um, life has been complicated and weird, and sticking with a project like this has been, uh, I guess, trying, to say the least, while I'm also trying to figure out what I actually want to do with my life. Hey, I know that might sound weird, and you're like, oh, you're, you're already doing YouTube videos. Like, obviously, uh, um, I don't know if I made that clear. I'm not making a living on these YouTube videos. Um, and, yeah, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You can, you can, you can have fun with this. But, uh, yeah, working on this game was, you know, a way for me to learn how to get better at programming. And uh, it, I learned a lot, um, quite a bit. And... Uh, I think last time I worked on it was in February this year, after a longer break, and I always keep coming back to it, and I might come back to it again, but uh, I kind of feel bad, like, it just sitting around and just, you know, I'm, I might as well make it free, because, you know, people can have um, some fun with that then. Alright, 
it. Just getting like all these spam calls today, it's it's the worst. It's really annoying. We want to help you save on your car insurance. Anyway, so the game is free to download on Itch.io. I'm most likely going to forget to put a link in the description. Just, uh, yeah, I'm rambling off. It's it's just a fun little game um, that I've been working on. And uh, I'm treating it now more as a, a learning experience than, um, you know, that game that I uh, uh, ultimately have to finish. I have a weird relationship to unfinished projects. And it's a thing I've been trying to get better at over the years just over my whole life i guess but uh more actually i'm gonna leave those two trees they're huge and they look cool um so yeah um unfinished projects i don't know if you can relate to this i i imagine you could okay you know what we're gonna have to get some sleep um we're gonna have to deal with this somehow Yep. All right. You know what? I'm going to take care of you. And I'm going to put my sleeping bag down. And wonderful. Yeah. So maybe some of you can relate to this. If you have a notebook or like, let's say a sketchbook. Um, I always like start sketchbooks or just books um, I can write in, you know, journals. Not as a journal, it's just notebooks. And I start to, like, you know, I start very excited about the whole thing. And then I just kind of forget about it or do other things. And then I see this notebook. And I'm, I don't want to say normal person, but um, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, someone who's not me might look at this and uh, be okay with it not being finished. And I, it just irks at me. It's like, oh, I have this unfinished thing there and I'm not working it and then I feel bad about it and then I essentially have to get rid of it because it drives me crazy. And I've been... I guess it's like a very fatalistic or very extreme view about to approach life. It's like, oh, you know, if I'm not doing it, I shouldn't, like, even keep it around. And that manifested itself in, like me um very often you know if i have a hobby and then i don't like do it for a while i feel bad about having the required items for it for example like let's take um let's take a like a simple example let's say um oh yeah i got an xbox 360 one time for uh the game dead rising right and I've been, I played it. I played that game to death. And then I'm like, uh, not playing on my Xbox anymore because I just, yeah, I wasn't using it anymore. So I felt bad just having this thing that's worth, uh, at that point, a few hundred dollars still, um, just laying around, not, um, you know, not laying around, not being used. Where did I put all my torches? I think this way. I'm on the wrong side of the tracks. That's why I can't find the torch. I'm, an, I'm a goober. So yeah, I felt bad. So the only recourse that I had was just saying like, yeah, I'll, I'll just sell it. I'll just I'll just sell it and that way I get some money back and I don't feel bad about it laying around. Obviously shortly after another game that I wanted came out and it was on the Xbox. So I'm like, oh god damn it. I really want this. So I get the Xbox again. And that's just like for buying something. But it, it, it plays into the whole uh, concept of, you know, having something that you're not using um, or having something unfinished and then having to get rid of it rather than being able to leave it as is. Same with sketchbooks when I did like sketches and drawings. And if I wasn't happy with a drawing, I couldn't just leave it be. I had to like either get rid of it or redo it. And it's 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 difficult to explain. I've been doing therapy for... <laughs> I don't want to uh, over a year at least and more and it's been great and obviously this is not like the only thing we've been talking about but it's been one of the issues that I had and I brought up and my therapist um, suggested I should just you know pack things away so rather than just immediately getting rid of them and that's been tricky but it kind of worked and I've been trying to be okay with having like a sketchbook that's just messy I think because we also have this expectation of you know being efficient being you know having doing everything right you know it's it's difficult for some people like me to look at something that we're not happy with and then just leave it as it is 
I can't tell you how many blogs I started and then deleted after being an, uh, inactive on them for a while, or how many projects I abandoned. Um, I had my reasons, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's a weird thing that I struggle with, and it gets particularly interesting when um, it's part of your, I guess, I don't want to say personality, but when it's part of your, uh, let's go with identity, because I don't really have a better term for it as of right now, uh, when it's part of your identity. Example, let's say, Weasel Zone, right? Um, that's that's a weird thing where I was like, okay, I'm just going to stop doing YouTube and I'm going to go on Facebook and I could, you know, like at least um, leave the YouTube page on and the channel because, yeah, it is content that I created and I still am creating content that's Weasel Zone. But then when I stopped uh, doing Facebook and YouTube, I, I, I just took a big break because, yeah, things were complicated and still are. When I did that, um, I started to feel odd about you know, Weasel's Old still being just there, just this past version of me that created video game content and now to a degree isn't anymore. You know, I'm obviously not the person that I am anymore. And that, I think, all plays into the whole having a, mm, you know, having a new view on the world, being someone else. I mean, how many times... Have you cringed about old videos about yourself or uh, looked at the thing that you did when you were younger and now you're like, oof, that's rough. Um, to a degree, I had that with my channel at points where I could pinpoint like, yeah, like this content I just put out there because I wanted just the views and I don't want to say tortured, but like I really pushed myself way past my comfort zone for certain things, and I'm to a degree being reminded on that, and I'm just using it as uh, uh, a <laughs> my th my therapy right now. This is this is my therapy session with you. Um, you're just sitting on a chair, and I'm on a a, a a couch, and I'm just like laying there and telling you all of those things. But yeah, um, and sometimes I just. Um, you know, want to take, uh, like, put things, um, go in a different direction with life, I guess? Like, you want to be, like, just someone else. You're not happy with who you are. And that doesn't necessarily just, like, is not necessarily because you have this one thing, um, out there. I'm, I'm kind of losing, like, my train of thought here. But you want to, like, kind of not associate with your past self. Let's just say that. Let's just say you want to, like, have a clean break. And we've all been there, you know? Sometimes you just want to, like, just throw it all in the trash and start over new. Just like a clean, fresh slate. And life doesn't really work quite like that, does it? There's always, you know, there's always something from our past that we're connected to. And I, I guess, um, left a lot behind when I left uh, Germany. Um, a lot of my baggage, I guess, I left behind. And I'm glad about that. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, that was, that was always a thing when I'm like, I, you know, I still feel like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a, uh, video, like, let's play gaming creator. Like, that's, I guess, who I am. Because often, uh, first of all, society asks you to define yourself as something. Um, and then it also, um... That's just how we are as, as humans, you know. People ask you, like, so what do you do, you know? That's, like, one of the first things that people will ask you on a, you know, in a party or um, anything along those lines. And we're like, what do you do? Because uh, it very often is, like, an integral part of who we are, um, oddly enough. Like, even if, it, if we don't necessarily care, even if you just work... Um, an office job. People will assume it is an integral part of you who you are. You might just be doing a job. Like, yeah, I'm just working in an office, filing away stuff. I don't, you know, I just try to make ends meet. And um, 
But still, people will be like, oh yeah, he works in an office. That's one of the main characteristics that they will take away. Or uh, he works in a game studio. Or he, you know. That's, I often feel that we take that and um, society places a lot of, like particularly here in the West, I guess, places a lot of value on your career. Like that's that's how they, you know, how you're being defined. Oh, you are a uh, accountant. You are a X Y Z. Yeah, it's a big part of our um, identity. Eventually, you know, we we if we enjoy the job, uh, we might identify very proudly as that, and we go around like, yeah, I do X Y and Z, and uh, I like it a lot, and um, you know, wouldn't want to do anything else, and all of that kind of stuff. So you end up, I guess, branding yourself um, along those lines. And maybe eventually you're just, you realize like, hey, this is this thing that I did. And it happens to a lot of people. Like, I'm just saying midlife crisis. Um, this thing that you used to do is just not who you actually wanted to be or who you thought you were. And that's fine. I mean... You shouldn't be defined by an occupation. Occupations are transient. They, you know, shape our experiences and we learn from them and we grow with them um, one way or another. But they don't define who you are. But, as I said, okay, I gotta wait until it's a little bit later to sleep. As I said, that's just kind of part of who we are. And it's difficult to shake that off. So if... I feel and I identify for many years like, yeah, I'm a, I make video games, but I had phases where I'm like, I not make video games. I, you know, play video games and entertain people because I've been doing that for years, years and years and years. And that was like my main source of income for a while. And people knew me as the person that did that. By the way, these, this ground is weird. Um, the leaves. I wonder to which, can I, can I like right click? No, I can't do that. So we might actually have to replace this if we want to create like a proper path. Um, I don't know how these blocks work in the slightest, but that's okay. So we'll we'll do that. We'll actually dig like a three or four wide path down here once we deal with this. Uh, so yeah, it's difficult to like keep this, uh, uh, keep talking about this stuff when you're playing Minecraft and uh, you're trying to balance like a project and that. Um, but yeah. Um, let's, uh, I want to turn this into, I gotta wait until this turns into grass before I can actually, um, do that. But what I can do is I can, um, um, start over here. Just gonna make sure there's always, like, a grass block next to a dirt block that hasn't been transformed yet. Alright, that's rather neat, and... I think this is nice. So yeah, I don't know where I was really going with this, but that's just a thing, you know, that I that that I've been thinking about. Like that's in my brain sometimes. I'm like, you know, I don't, you know, I would like to, I I like to write. I like to make video. I do like to make like vlogs. I would like to make some more music again. Um, all of those things, and for whatever reason. My brain tells me that I can't really do any of those things before I like disassociate myself from my former former self. If that makes sense, that sounds very 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 deep and thoughtful. But trust me, it's I haven't really thought, I haven't been able to think too far ahead with this. Maybe I'm just hoping that somebody can relate. Maybe it's just you know. It's difficult to change um, what you think about yourself, as weird as that is. It's, it's, it's. I would even argue one of the hardest parts about um, changing a career or um, just doing something completely different. Because um, you kind of like, yeah, you build your own identity and often based on your occupation and leaving that or changing that for some people they can just like pick up something else and be okay with them with their past i want to say some like me have a weird problem with that and i don't know why that is i couldn't tell you but now you know what's going on in my head that was that was that was a long tangent 
All right, but uh, you can see where I'm going at with uh, with this path here, right? Um, I'm just switching straight back to Minecraft. I'm actually going to turn this one a little bit wider over here. Not all the way, just like this, like a little out. Yeah, that looks good. So, this is good. I'm just trying to get like a sense for like the width until I'm like happy with it. This looks good. Okay. Now down here, as you can see, I didn't talk about this like, but I'm like um, creating these steps. I don't think I'll be putting any kind of steps there, like actual like like stairs, um, since it's going to be a riding path, and it's also no big deal to jump over. But I don't want them to be close, so I'm just losing speed as I'm running along those. I'm I'm thinking about what I'm doing, believe it or not. Okay, so now it's time to replace those blocks and I don't know if that will actually work you know like in this biome what if I put blocks down will they just turn to regular old dirt because it doesn't look like I can create a path with this maybe we will oops maybe we'll have to replace it with wooden planks that would be interesting because I see over here this dirt patch I don't see this uh changing here is grass I guess you know what one way to figure out if we can change it to Grass would be to put dirt blocks over here and then see if the grass blocks slowly um, move over. It would be a longer process. I don't know if it would even be worth it to think about that. Doing the same over here, just replacing those. But yeah, I guess wooden plank floors, paths would also do the trick. We have plenty of that. So. Regardless of what we're going to do, we're going to have to dig some stuff out. And should I extend this? Yeah, this is, this is wide enough, I guess. Okay, that's good. And we're going to remove this as well. Maybe I can manage to talk a little bit more about things in my head um, more while playing Minecraft. Figured that would be nice. Okay, so this is down here. Have to flatten this like that. Mm. <laughs> the puppers are upset. Uh, you could probably hear them. Um, because somebody arrived at the door outside. Um, or in the driveway. So I think that's Lauren's mom just dropping in with her dog Sully that you might have seen in one of the lazy vlogs. No point worrying about this. Okay, so this here is this platform that I jump. If I replace these with wood, that could look neat. Yeah, make it a little wider like this. Okay, that's fairly wide. Um, and then I think we're going to keep this platform, make this a little bit bigger like that. And then I'm going to dig in. I'm just trying to think out loud. It doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense, I guess. Oh, wait. This is the direction we need to go, so... Mm, yes, okay. Okay, that's looking good. And then, same thing, one layer down. Essentially, everywhere where we see dirt is where we're going to put uh, wooden planks. Um, and maybe with wooden planks, I could actually put stairs in. Because if we replace this wooden, it, it would look uh, actually pretty neat. Alright, and same goes over here. I wonder if I should... Um, improve my um, shovel, if you know what I mean. Get some efficiency going on that bad boy. It might make sense if I do a lot of um, uh, landscaping, terraforming. This ain't really terraforming. I mean, to a degree it is, but I feel like landscaping is more, more uh, the more fitting term here. Okay, this stays like that. And then we free wide, same over here. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit because we're gonna have the 
Uh, steps the pathway going in here. And I want it to look like there is um, there are planks on the floor. You know, there's um, planks on the floor, but not on the side. If you can follow my really silly logic. Okay, this is good. Um, this is where we're going to put those. And then we should also replace those, yes. Don't worry, this is going to look really neat when it's done. I, I have a good feeling about this. Okay, so this leads to our um, rail um, system. And my idea is to obviously keep this pathway going for now, but for now, um, I will just remove some trees in between for ease of riding access. And then we deal with uh, future path expansion later. Okay, so now that we've done this, let's go ahead and get plenty, and I say that, uh, plenty of, um, I guess we could also use cobblestone partially, not only wood, but let's start with wood. Um, what is the wood that we have the most of? Looks like sp some spruce here. We should have a stack, I feel, of some. Oh, there they are. Spruce log, yep. You're going to create all the spruce planks. All of them. All the spruce planks. Stripped spruce log. What's up with that? Quite intriguing. Okay. So it could make sense to create slabs, honestly. Because then we don't need as much wood. But we have so much. I frankly, like, yeah, don't care. I'll just do it the easy way. I'll be I'll be nice and lazy here. Oh yeah, that looks great. I really like the wooden look. That's really cool. And then we can have maybe little uh, benches or something here and there along the path. That would be so neat. I don't know why I'm getting so excited about just a path. Like some people build crazy redstone contraptions and giant monuments and I'm here just like, yeah, look at that wooden path. Look how like somewhat natural it looks. Okay, yeah, here's the idea. Um, let's put a crafting table down. That's why I made a few, right? Um, let's make some stairs, not too many. I don't wanna go bonkers, but let's put a few here and switch to that. And I think this looks great, and it's going to allow us to run along here real quick. You know, I'm starting to run a little low on all of these planks, but that's okay. That's all right. This all right. We have more than enough wood to finish this up. That looks neat. Okay, and then should we put stairs over here? Yeah, why not? We'll do that. And, um, yeah, let's do that as well. <laughs> what happened there? That's that's not how I intended for any of this to work. I should get some sleep. There they are. I was, I was too slow. I didn't put any torches down. Why Why you not put down torches, Weasel? You need to put down this torch so they cannot spawn, right? Yes. I hear you, Skeleton. I am not interested. Please... I do not want to say 15% with Geico. Yeah, spam callers. Really annoying. Really annoying folks. It's just their job. It's not their fault. But I can't help being annoyed at the person that calls. That's one of those things. I like. I know that the person calling, you know, the person in the call center isn't a bad person. You know, they're just like doing a pretty shitty job for probably very shitty um, hourly wages. But I can't help really uh, dislike the company that does that. Um, and it's really difficult for me to, like, separate the two. I mean, I, I separate them in my head. For example, whenever I'm upset at a um, customer service representative on the phone, 
I always say, unless they are intentionally being awful for whatever reason, um, I always say, I know this is not your fault. You're just enforcing policies, but that's bullshit. You know, that that kind of stuff. I, I, I make sure because, yeah, it probably sucks a lot to work in that industry. Wait a second. This would need to be... Yeah, okay, those need to go as well. I made mistakes. Okay, interesting. So, since we're going to do, like, sideways, I'm curious to see how the stairs are going to work out for that. Let's go back to the workbench and replace that part. But, yeah. <sighs> I wish I didn't need to have a phone sometimes. Like, I really, really wish. Like, that's, that's the weird problem that I have with technology um, not technology I sound like it's not like a boomer now um, I love technology Techno technology is great phones are fantastic like smartphones are a fantastic invention to to for you know liberating people like the things you can do thanks to a smartphone are amazing um, it opens up a lot of possibility but what I don't like is the trade-off like yeah I want to have a phone it's the same thing like yeah I want to stay in touch with family members and friends and uh, they're all on Facebook um, and it's an easy convenient way to stay in touch but at the same time I also like doing that I allow a lot of bullshit into my life and uh, I basically give companies the permission to well, do with my data as they please, I guess. Hello, pigeon. There's just uh, our pigeon hanging out on the window, being a little weird. That did not work out as I expected it would. So yeah, it's it's this downside um, that you know you can't have one without the other, and that's just life. Often, like you can't just you can't have cake and eat it too. I guess you can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just me rambling and ranting about stuff. I still think, um, you know, I guess social media has a place in our, our society. I mean, it obviously has a place in our society. Who am I kidding? It's a big piece of our society now. But since it's so young, we also don't really fully understand how to use it effectively without hurting ourselves, which is a shame. Because the tool itself is pretty remarkable. Like, it allows for so much... Um, what was the word? Can I... No, it doesn't do the sideways thing that way. Hmm. How would I do that? I guess by going back... No. Just thinking out loud here. Ah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a whole nother animal and I don't have like the strongest opinion about those things oh god don't get me started on my opinions on things I had the comment recently um one a single comment when I put up the video how to radicalize a normie it's a great video check it out uh, I'm not gonna link to it again because a I'm lazy b I already did um how to radicalize a normie it's a great piece of information to have and I'm not you know um it's, it's, it's not like a piece of indoctrination or anything like that. It's just, it explains how the alt-right uh, particularly uses um, how they radicalize people um, in a way that might not be clear at first or might seem harmless at first. And it's good to know these things, like... It doesn't hold any, like, judgment other than, like, yeah, if you are, I guess, a member of the alt-right or identify yourself as such, you can go fuck yourself. Sorry for using an expletive here. I'm sure some of you will also be offended by that, but I have very strong opinions uh, on the subject matter. And I'm not afraid to voice those to not upset someone. Um... Going back to the comment that I received, it's like, yeah, you should keep your political opinions to yourself if you wish to not alienate your viewers. To which my reply is like, alienating who? The alt-right? Um, 
yeah, they can, they can, if they feel, if they feel alienated, good, they should. Um, not necessarily the individuals, but people holding the beliefs that are intrinsic to this movement. Yeah, I don't want them anywhere near me. I don't want them anywhere near, uh, anywhere in my life or on my channel. I don't want to, you know, make them feel at home. On the contrary, I want to make them feel uncomfortable because it is a deeply off. It's an awful view to hold. Um, or the views that come attached to this. It's difficult to make, obviously, a blanket statement about this, but uh, I would go. I would go in way too far, and I'm also not the best person to make those uh, calls or um, explain it. At least not in a Minecraft video, you can, you, you understand. Okay, so, here we are. This path is looking pretty excellent, I have to say. To anyone who's still listening, because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many are, but that's okay. Hey, look, it turned to the grass, I guess. Um, okay, let's put this here. I should put up little um, torches um, on stone walls because I think those look really neat. Uh, do I have any stone walls left? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I could use just spruce fencing, but I do really like the look of um, the cobblestone walls and then putting like a torch on top of that. Maybe even a lantern, but I feel like lantern is overkill for a pathway. So, um, oh, since this all turned, uh, I guess, grassy, I can turn this now into um, a path. Very good, very good. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, I did mention that I was thinking of having a Patreon Minecraft server, and I might be repeating myself because I just did it and it's fresh in my mind, and um, you can't me, oh, damn it. Uh, I should probably remove this so this can transform it. Um, you can't be to expect to remember all of the things I've been talking about um, throughout this episode. And, uh, yeah, one of them being that I've been thinking of setting up a Patreon Minecraft server. And I don't know how I want to run it. Like, first of all, I have, like, no experience running um, a Minecraft server. Uh, in terms of moderation and, you know, you name it. But I also don't know what people like to play in terms of mod packs. Maybe it should be a... Why am I doing this? Uh, maybe it should be a vanilla experience. Maybe that would be uh, cool. Um, ease of access, you don't need any mod packs. People are not bothered by stuff that, you know, doesn't feel appropriate. There's no arguments. If you just you just do you just do vanilla and that's it. But on the other hand, I don't know if I'm that big of a vanilla fan anymore. Like I can definitely see the appeal to various various mods. At least definitely the quality of life ones. I wouldn't want to play on a server without something like Saros's minimap. Um, as you can see um, in the top left corner or the map in general because just orienting yourself on a multiplayer server is tricky, I feel. Should I like... Yeah, I'm going to extend this to make this look a little bit smoother. Yes, very much smoother. Okay, and then... Choop, 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 choop. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, make it a little bit wider. It goes down here, a little bit more narrow. Yeah. Uh, should I replace? Yeah, I'm gonna replace this one too. Man, this is this is coming along nicely. So yeah. But then I see mod packs, and therefore the hardcore Minecraft players, the ones that have been playing for many years. And when I look at mod packs, like I guess Feed the Beast or other things that have crazy industrialization on it. I'm like, I don't even know like if I would consider that 
Minecraft anymore. I have this weird ambivalence where I'm like, yeah, I really want some like mods to add to it because the vanilla experience, I'm starting to like thinking like, oh man, if only I could put a uh, railworks into this or mine rails, that would be cool because I'd like to have like a big train going around the various villages. Yeah, it's a weird ambivalence. Anyway, so this has been like a long ranty episode about my brain and about, uh, I guess, some of my political beliefs. And I'm sure uh, I uh, upset some people with this. But that's just uh, that's just how it is. You can win them all. Anyway, guys, I think I think that concludes it for this episode. I'm pretty happy how this path turned out. I think we can um, work on creating a um, riding path through the woods in the next episode. I know these these just are very uh, monotonous, but. Um, that's why I've also been thinking about maybe starting a second series that uh, is, you know, less focused maybe on building and maybe more around exploration. I don't know. Um, I still hope you enjoyed it. See, it is a podcast or something like that. Which, by the way, also a thing that I wanted to do for many months now. So I guess let's just uh, imagine it as this. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.